the one V1 mistakes that hold players back. Let's go. The whole 1v1 process is very complex, but we're gonna break it down very easy for you. The first issue most players have is they do not know what they are doing when they get the ball. Where's the defender? How much space do I have? How much time do I have? Is it the 90th minute? Do I need to score? Do I need to get a cross off? You have to have some idea of what you're doing when you get the ball in a 1v1 situation. And no, you are not gonna have a script. We are not gonna just say, oh, do this, then, Triangle plus square, L1, R to the whatever, TikTok down there to the Snapchats. No, you're not gonna know exactly what's going on, but you have to at least understand, I'm going here and I'm going to the right. I'm going here or there's the space. Check and understand these small things. And once you know those, then you can attack. But if you get the ball and then you're thinking, I'm gonna do this amazing step, uh, boom. Guy takes the ball and it's over. No, first point, know exactly what you're gonna do and then execute. Now that you know exactly where the space is, you have to shift to a new focus. And that new focus is speed. You have to take these players on with speed and pace. They have to be worried about what you're going to do. If you go slowly, if you go lukewarm, half-ass, this guy is going to know exactly what to do. He doesn't have to worry about anything. The defenders behind him don't have to worry. The goalie doesn't have to worry. Nobody's concerned. You're not a threat. But if you know where the space is and then you take it at speed, you will see that everything will open up for you because this defender has to worry about, is he gonna go left, right, or wherever, right? So the first thing you have to know, once you get that ball, once you turn, once you see the space, is you attack with speed, pace, and purpose. Once you know where you're going, once you're going with pace, the next thing that trips up many players is overcomplicating things. You do not need to be too complex. This is not surgery. This is not something special. I don't know what you guys are doing, trying to summon that PWG shit on the field. You gotta have the right time for all of this. You do not need to summon a wizard every time you are taking someone on 1v1. Most of the time, and the higher the level you go, faints, change of direction, hesitation, stop, go. All of this stuff is what makes players dangerous. It's not always the craziest Neymar trick. So remember that as you go to the field. Simplicity is best. We're not saying that you do not have time to make magic, you will, but it has to be done in the right situations. If you wanna improve your game, start simple and start now. Fear of failure, anxiety. All of these things will trip you up before you even get going because if you know where you're going and you're going with pace and you're keeping things simple, that's great. But if you can't even get yourself to start, there's a problem. And the big problem is there's a focus on the outside. We've talked about this before, but the game is not really against you and the defender. It's really you inside here, all right? That's what's gonna determine whether or not you take this player on and you do all the things that we already talked about. You have to understand where your focus should be. Your concentration is on trying to get better every single day, every single game, all of the trainings, all of those games, they're all for you to make you a better, more whole rounded player and person. So focus on you and what you can do and that will kill your anxiety. Be honest with Will. Some of you just aren't practicing enough. You don't get enough repetitions, 1v1, is about repetition. How comfortable you are in 1v1 comes down to your repetitions. Some of you guys are at the field doing all sorts of other stuff, and kicking the ball from midfield, not carrying most of the time. That's never gonna bring you anything in the game. If you truly want to take a player on 1v1, it's gotta be a move that you understand and you can do with your eyes closed. You've gotta have that level of confidence and when you do, you will take players on and they will have no idea what to do with you because you'll have a ton of different skills that you've repeated over and over again and that will make you a true baller. That's the vid, you know what to do. Leave us a like, comment down below, check out everything from us here at Unisport, and we, my friends, will see you later. Right after this, you're regularly, regular, regular, regular? Right? How do you say that, regular? Doesn't matter, crossbar. Off the bounce, off the bounce. 
off the... That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about.